Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Rafi again with Case Suspension, and today what we're going to be doing is installing the uh, Viper Mod coil pack into this Jeep Wrangler. Uh, so if you have a 2000 and up Jeep Wrangler, uh, TJ or LJ, uh, this modification will work for you. Uh, so you got to have that coil rail, but we're actually going to go ahead and get rid of it. Um, this here is the bracket that we have designed and made for the Wrangler series of Jeep. And uh, we already have the XJ lineup available on our website. Uh, we are going to put this guy in here and show you how it's done. So let's get to it. So to replace this coil rail, uh, we're going to have to put the bracket right down here uh, between the uh, block and the uh, fender here. So to give us a little more room, I'm going to get rid of this air, air intake hose. And take off this breather. Now we have a little bit more room to access down in here. In order to start out here, we're going to have to remove one of the main mounting bolts on the alternator bracket. It's just here below the AC line that I cannot move out of the way. Let's see if I can get you guys a better picture here. So it's right here. There's a 14 millimeter bolt right over here just underneath the AC line and we're gonna go ahead and have to remove this guy out so get yourself a 14 millimeter or 916 wrench and take that guy out of there Go ahead and uh, grab your 13 millimeter socket and pop off these bolts holding down the coil rail so we can get the coil rail out. There's a little metal, uh, a red locking clip, not metal, it's plastic. Uh, make sure you unlock that clip before trying to take the plug off, otherwise you will break it. Once you get this little red retaining clip unlocked, you should just be able to squeeze the connector and pull it out of the coil rail. Just like that. We can take this out get rid of it. Before we mount the bracket into the vehicle, I'm actually going to go ahead and put the coil onto it uh, with the supplied hardware. So we're going to open this guy up and we're going to mount it so this bracket goes on like this. We're going to mount the coil on it this way with the plug facing the firewall of the engine. Now you can install this after you get it into the uh, engine bay, but I just find it easier to put it on beforehand. There we go. So now we're ready to go and throw this inside. One thing to note when we do put it in the vehicle, is to get our firing order correct. So since it is mounted like this, our firing order is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. So from the right down is one through three, left bottom up, four, five, six. Now that we got everything together, we can go ahead and install this bracket with the new coil. 
So this is going to go on just like this, uh, back onto where that OEM bolt was that we removed off the alternator bracket. That's going to go into this top slot here. And there's a provided bolt, a new one, that'll go into the bottom slot. You will have an open bolt hole spot on the block that this will go into. So once we get both of these in there and snug down, we can start running wires. Now, whether you have the smaller cam gear or the larger cam gear, uh, this bracket will clear for you. So once it's mounted in, it's not gonna go anywhere and you'll have plenty of clearance. So at this point, we can go ahead and install our extension harness. This is gonna be for the signal to the coil pack. So one end is gonna go to your factory plug and the other end is gonna go into the coil. Get the male end into your factory plug. Make sure you hear that click. Lock that locking tab. Take this away. And the other end to the new coil. Push that locking tab back in. Now we can run our spark plug wires. As far as the wires go, uh, we have found that the uh, Stock Jeep Cherokee wires actually are a perfect fit for this modification on the Wrangler. Uh, I assume an earlier Wrangler wire set is going to be the similar same to a XJ set. Uh, honestly, I have not looked up the part numbers, but you can check it out for yourself if you'd like. Uh, it's the same coil as the Dodge Viper or Caravan or the Wrangler, just like on the XJ, so nothing changes there. Um, wiring's all the same, our harness still works, uh, so yeah, besides the plug wires, everything else is the same, well, and the bracket, but let's go ahead and get these on. So remember your firing order, we're going to run the wires in that orientation. There you have it. The mod is now complete. So what do you say we fire her up? Well guys, there you have it. Uh, that is the uh, Viper coil swap for a Wrangler. Uh, pretty simple to do. Uh, I do recommend going ahead and doing your uh, spark plugs while you're in there. Unless you already have, then you're probably solid. Uh, it takes about 10 minutes of your time. I mean, you got everything in front of you. Throw it all in there. You don't have to worry about that coil rail anymore. So hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to uh, throw them below in the comments. Uh, or you can shoot us an email, uh, give us a phone call, whatever's easiest. Uh, make sure you check out our stuff at casesuspensionfab.com. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe also. We've got plenty of more videos coming for you. And uh, Happy New Year! Uh, today is the last day of 2019. We're stuck working in the shop, <laughs> trying to clean some stuff up, get a fresh start for 2020. So thank you from all of us, and uh, from all of us to you, Happy New Year! And as always, Happy trails.